What is up, my dudes? I think it's time for another tier list. Um, as you can see, I got a haircut that is um, irrelevant to this video, but it just makes me look better, and that's important. Okay, so I'm going to be doing another waifu tier list, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I have watched four highly dense waifu anime since the last video and uh my my tier list has um about nearly doubled in amount of waifus from last time um and yeah we're just gonna gonna have some fun with this so the four animes that i've watched from the last video are ReZero, which has a bunch clanat has a bunch and then darling in the Bronx, which is why i'm making this because I've been getting a lot of a lot of talk about how Zero Two isn't in my list, so we got Zero Two this time. I'm saving her for last. We're gonna see where she ranks on my list, and then the other one I watched was oh yeah, Kaguya Sama, season one. I haven't seen the half of season two that's released yet, but yeah, we are going to get rolling. So I, I did a, a fancy little design. This time around, since uh, I care so deeply about tier lists, I uh, decided to give you guys a nice little, a nice little loadout setup thing here. Looks pretty good, I gotta say. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, all right. So first up, we have Hayasaka from Kaguya Sama. I'm gonna so this time around I wanna be a little bit more a little bit more um tough on my evaluations and I don't want to give a bunch of S's and S pluses. So I'm gonna we're gonna start her off with a with a, a solid B. I think she's a solid B. She was she was wing manning from for Kaguya pretty pretty good. Um and as you can see we have a, a new category would go gay for this is Akio from Clanad, and I would totally go gay for him. And that's just me. You know, I don't know about you guys, but. And we have Asuka from Neon Genesis. She's also probably, probably a B tier in my book, reflecting upon, reflecting upon it. And then we have Asuna. Asuna is like the sole reason that I was able to hang in there on sorta of online uh absolute absolute top tier here um but i think i think i'm gonna put her at s okay i gotta save the s plus for the for the really good ones the <laughs> the pink hair ones just like chica dude chica is an easy peasy dude i have to put i have to put chica s plus dude chica is an absolute unit dude straight up okay so claire claire from claymore probably a c from me um unless she has the uh the civilian haircut um then if she was rocking the, her civilian haircut she'd probably be like an a but with that haircut that weird looking bowl type haircut that's probably a c casca from berserk that's also probably a C from me, Chief. Probably. And then we have Krush, Crush. One of those from ReZero. I'd put her... Probably B as well. Probably B. Because she's not the nicest person. But um, but she she's open to some people, you know? But she probably wouldn't be open to me. Uh, okay, and then we got Catalia from Violet Evergarden. That's gonna be the first A tier. Catalia is an absolute, absolute babe. All right, and then we have Amelia from ReZero. Amelia is okay. So I really like Amelia. All right, but um, in my opinion, she's she's just not best girl on ReZero, and I have two dogs. Hi, dog number one. Would you like to join the video? Look at dog number one. Look at dog number one. He's so cute, isn't he? Dog number two left. I'll see you later, Jojo. Okay, let's continue. So, 
yeah, Amelia, I really like her character. Um, but the first season doesn't really build on her uh, a whole, whole lot. And like I said, she's not even best girl in that tier list. So we got to go S on Amelia. Now we got Felix, Felix, something like that, uh, from ReZero. Uh, looks like a girl, but um, be aware it's a dude. But I'd still go gay for him. All right, and then we got Fuko, Fuko Chan, from Clanad. The titles not coming to my head. Fuko is probably, probably an A from me. Like, what's not to like about her? It's probably an A. All right, and then we've got Futaba. Yeah, Futaba from Bunny Girl Senpai. Futaba is probably, in all honesty, probably a C from me. And then we got Galatea. Uh, Galatea. Probably a B. Because Galatea, she's pretty hot, you know. And she's got her homies back. But um, there's just there's not a whole lot of character building in Claymore. So I can't say much about her. And then you got, um, why is his name? Griffin, <laughs> right? Griffith, not Griffin. <sighs> Griffith, dude, from Berserk. I would totally for him, man. Just look at that face. Then we got Hiroshijiro. I almost said Hiroshima. That is not at all. <sighs> it's a D from me, honestly. Uh, She's almost, like, too nice, and she's, like, nice in a cringy way. Um, and she gets clapped pretty hard. But, hey, 80s, what 80s. And then we've got Ishigo from Darling in the Franks. Ishigo is pra... probably an A. I think I'm going to go A. For Ishigo, because I really like Ishigo's character, um, but there is some is some parts in the in the show where she is uh, not as likable. But overall, pretty likable. Uh, easy A tier from me. Let's go Ikeno, Ikeno. So Ikeno, we don't really like Ikeno that much. Let's be real here, okay? Like, she, like, just no, okay? I have no specific reason, okay? It's nothing nothing like that, but definitely a D. And then we've got Izana. Izana became a girl for, for a homie, but like like apparently in the anime there's like no like people without a gender and then like once you choose your partner then you choose your gender. But even even then not not my type. And then we've got Kaede Chan, which would be an easy S plus if she wasn't underage. Throw her in there. But Kaede Chan, I would totally uh, totally go back in time to when I was fifteen. <laughs> totally. That's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Kaguya, that's an easy S tier for me. Uh, there's some parts of Kaguya that I don't really like but she also is really smart um but she's also condescending but some people some people like that kind of stuff some people want girls to be condescending to them i don't know dude and we got kokoro right kokuri kokuru kokura kokuru uh she's probably like one might say she's a you know s word you know one might say that, but that's no. I go. I go A. I go A. Honestly, all around, it's probably an A for me. And then we've got no. That's this Katomi. Got Katomi from Klanon. Uh, Katomi. She's also hella smart. Uh, she's really bad at the violin. <laughs> I think I'm going to go B on her, I think. And then we've got Kyo, Q, 
Keo. Keo's probably an A for me. I just I kind of like her character a lot. Um, that gym scene was hilarious. It's like my favorite scene on Clannad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look it up. Gym scene. It's it's pretty good. And then we've got Lucy. We got Lucy here. Now, Alex is going to be a little upset about this, but I'm not going to put Lucy as S plus. We're going to go S for now. S on Lucy. My S plus. It's it's not easy to get into this time around. Okay, it's not. It takes a lot of work. But Lucy is still a top tier waifu, dude. Like she goes on an absolute murder rampage. But when it came to Bay, she didn't even touch Bay because she loves Bay. And if I were her Bay. Then I could just watch her murder everybody around me, and I'd still be chilling. I'd be chilling. And then we've got Mason, dude. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm a, I'm a firm, I'm a firm supporter of Mason. Very firm. You cannot go wrong with Mason. She's a star, a child star. Okay, actor. And. She's nice and she's loyal. She's pretty smart. And she's just unforgettable, dude. Like people could not forget her. And that's why she's an S plus from me. And then we've got May. Okay, you have my, like my son. This is May from Clannad. Uh kinda young. Kinda I mean, that's all I gotta say about that one. Uh, then we got Mikasa Sukasa. I really like Mikasa. I do. She's an absolute badass. But she's a slight simp. And because she's a little bit of a simp, I have to knock her down to S from last time. Last time she was top tier, but she is a she is a slight simp and um I, I don't condone simping at all. And that's exactly why I'm making this video, just to show how much of uh, how much of a simp that I am not. You know? That didn't make a lot of sense. That's fine. Um, so, we got Mickey from Your Name. Think about, or Mickey, Mickey, however you say it. Um, a really likable character. But... Uh, probably B. Probably be that one was that one was kind of hard to pinpoint because in a movie you don't get as much character building, you don't get to see as much stuff, so it's a little bit harder. That's my excuse. All right, so now we've got who is uh, names not coming to Gunner's head. Miku, yeah, I think this is Miku from Darling in the France. Um, that just shows you how much I like her because I just watched this anime and I can't even remember her name. But I mean. No, I have to go D because I just she's just not that much of a waifu. I mean, I'm I'm sorry to say it. It's just how it is. This is Miss I from Clannad. Um, probably probably an A, probably an A. She a G. And then we've got Miss Misato. No, this is this is Misato. Yeah, this is Misato from Neon Genesis. Absolute eye candy. Easy A from me, easy peasy. Although she's got she's got some daddy issues in there, so I can't put her up higher. But some people prefer that. Maybe some people will have her as S because they because they like that. I don't know. Now we got Mitsuha from Your Name. Mitsuha is another smooth S from me. Another smooth S. Uh, can't go can't can't go wrong with Mitsuha really. She's just an absolute G. And then we've got Nagisa. We got Nagisa from Clannad. Oh, I think I'm I'm kind of obligated to give her an S plus because she is the sole reason that my um that my tear ducts were being abused during Clannad. So I just there's that emotional attachment there. She's not she's not overly hot or anything. It's just all about the feels inside, you know. And then we got Nana from. Darling in the Franks. Um, she's pretty good. Uh, but we don't really see much of her character building until, like, the end. When she, like, actually, like, starts to become more of a human. Um, 
to have like emotions and stuff. I think we'll go see. Maybe if there's like a whatever they call an anime over at OST. I don't know what that is. Uh, so if there's something like that with her, maybe she'll go up higher. Maybe we can look more into her character. Although that's never gonna happen. Now we got Nadoka from Bunny Girl Senpai. Nadoka is a a pretty fine a pretty fine chick. So we're gonna go B. Oh yeah. So then for Oliveira, probably probably gonna go C on that one. Honestly, just not not digging it. And Priscilla is another C. Priscilla from ReZero. And then we've got Ram. Rem and Ram. It's really hard to keep up with their names. Ram is probably a B from me. I'm not I'm not too big on Ram. You know, I mean she's I, but I ain't crazy. And then we got Ray from Neon Genesis. Uh, probably an A from me in all honesty. Uh, she's pretty void of uh, emotions and personality but there is the upside that there is just endless clones of her so you don't have to go through that whole that whole thing like where you, where your wife dies and then you're depressed for your whole life because then you can just get another one and that's that's a pretty good plus and that, that's what that's what keeps ray up pretty high on this list as an a and then we've got rem who is absolute best girl in re zero and for that reason she's an s plus in my book she is best girl, okay, dude. She literally, she absolutely died for Subaru a a significant amount of times. Absolutely, deed. And then we've got Lieutenant Hawkeye. Lieutenant Hawkeye, she's a likable character, but me personally, I'd probably have her at C. Me personally. Uh, okay, and then we got Rio. Rio from Clannad. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Rio is okay, but we just don't see enough of her character for me to put her too high. So probably a C. She is a cute girl though. And then we got Sine. Sine from Clannad, dude. Sine is in the easy S tier, dude. You can't get wrong with Sine. I can't put her at S plus. Um, because the, the requirements to be up there are quite hard. But she's a easy S for me. I don't know if you can hear those dogs, but we will continue along. So we got Teresa. Teresa is an absolute babe. I think it's just an easy B from me. We got Tomo. Tomo is probably not a C. Uh, Tomo is an alright girl, but I'm not, I'm not crazy about her. And then we've got Tomoyo. Tomoyo. It's weird because in Spanish, the girl version is A, the boy version is O. And then there's two characters. One is Tomoyo, which is her. And they got Tomoya, which is the main dude in Klonot. And it's really confusing. But Tomoyo is an easy A tier, I think. Easy A tier. Really likable character. We just didn't see a lot of her, but she's got the grind in her, and I can appreciate that. Violet Evergarden. Easy S+. Plus. I don't even have to explain it, just because of how obvious of an S+, plus she is. Just so obvious. You've got Winry from Full Metal. Probably B. I think C is some slight disrespect. But I really liked her character. You know what? A. Okay? Because looks are not everything. I really like her character. Uh, that's all that and all there is to it. And then you got Yulva. Probably get D from me. Not much to like about Yulva. As I said before, she's uh, into, into those slaves. Yeah, dig. Now we've got the hottest character. Or second hottest character, actually. Maybe the maybe the Emperor is the hottest character in Isis Sidonia. But we've got one of the hottest characters in Isis Sidonia. And for that reason... She's a C instead of a D, just because she's hot. But I really don't like her character. Um, and we got Miss Yukino. Miss Yukino. Uh, there's not much to dislike about Miss Yukino. That's we kind of have to put her S. You know, not much to dislike. There's some things to this, but not a lot. Okay, pretty solid S tier in my book. And so that leaves us with zero two 
the driving force behind this video. Um, we're going to embark on a little bit of a journey uh, into how I feel about Zero Two. So at the start of the show, uh, she is a, a kind of animalistic. Uh, she uh, catches fish in her mouth. Um, and she's also uh, kind of heartless, you know. She um, just just runs through stamens like it's like it's uh, like it's an endless buffet of, of people to to use um, so that she can kill lots of claxosaurs um, but later on in the show spoilers obviously uh, later on in the show we learn uh, that the reason she's killing claxosaurs is because because uh, they told her if she kills lots of classic sores, then she can become human. And the reason why she wants to become human is so she can marry Hero, because there was a book she read uh, where it said in order to marry, there has to be two, like, they have to both be human. Um, and that kind of drive for love is a, uh, a high-tier waifu characteristic trait. Um, and that is something I can really respect. And throughout the show... Um, she becomes more and more human, not because she's killing claxosaurs, it's just because people start to accept her. And when, like, the whole group started to accept her and heroes started to accept her for who she is, um, she just became, overall, more human, better person, um, started working as a team more. Just, you really saw a lot of character build, with her at least, in the show. Um, and that that's just one thing I like about shows, uh... A little bit more than movies is because you can uh like build on characters and like the character at the start of the show can be drastically different from the same character at the end um and that's one thing we saw with um darling in the Bronx. but uh people do overhype her quite a bit um i'm not gonna say she's the best waifu of all time but what i am willing to say is that she is worthy of an S plus, um, in my book at least, but I'm not I'm not going to be a hard simping for her and saying she's best girl. My if you get if you guys have to know, my favorite waifu is still Violet Evergarden. The very first anime I ever watched, I will forever have Violet Evergarden at the peak of waifus. If there was an S plus plus tier, Violet would be the only one in there. And that's just how it is with me. So, um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this tier list, uh, don't worry. I'm going to make at least five per week. I'm just kidding. I might. What I might do is I might make like one tier list per month or something like that. Because I really like making tier lists and they're really easy videos to make. I'm not going to cap. Um, but yeah, I have a couple other videos I was planning on doing. I scrapped a couple of them because they would take too long, and I'm a lazy person. But I do have some videos that uh, video ideas that I am going to post. But yeah, this is my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also, before I leave you, I made a my anime list account, which I'll link in the description, and you guys can check that out. I haven't currently added anything there yet, but um. Right after I'm done posting this video, I might work on it a little bit. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.